Welcome, welcome. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. This is going to be vegetable soup my way. Here's what you're going to need. All seasonings used will be listed below in the description box. So please check below. Okay, what I have here is chicken stock and water. And I just have it mixed half and half. I have the pot filled about halfway. And we're going to bring that to a boil. Because we're going to add our veggies to that. Okay, next I have about a teaspoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of mixed garlic. We're going to go ahead and get that garlic going so it can kind of mix in with the oil. And then we'll be adding some sauce to this. While I'm waiting on that to do its thing, I'm going to go ahead and start burning my meat to the left of me. You guys won't see that, but I'm also doing that. And guys, starting out with this garlic, just just by adding it to the sauce, uh, the garlic sends the flavor like over the top. So you want to really be sure to not skip this step. It's not going to be overpowering. It's going to be just enough to where you can taste it. We're going to go ahead and get our veggies ready to go in. Keep in mind, we only want to cook those for about four or five minutes. Okay, here guys, I'm just adding in all my veggies. And you can just kind of see all the goodness coming together in this pot. I just want to make sure I take time and say that this soup is what you want at a time like now. Being that we are dealing with this thing called coronavirus and everything that's going on with it. This soup is what you want right now. It it helps boost our immune system. It's it's uh great for helping our bodies fight off a lot of different things. It's packed with vitamins, fiber as well as protein. So this soup is really what you want right now. I suggest you you guys give it a try and just let me know what you think about it. Here I have just regular traditional pasta sauce. And while the veggies are doing their thing, I'm going to go ahead and start on the sauce. And I'm just going to add in some garlic powder and Italian seasoning to it. And we're going to just let it simmer on low.
Guys, this is a quick and easy, simple soup to do. So make sure you give it a try. Please remember to cover your pot. Now I have my ground beef over to the side of me and I'm going to go ahead and get that drained off. I always add my celery in last because I kind of like a uh, bite to my celery but you guys can add it in you know from the beginning with everything else I just like to add mine towards the end because I tend to like a bite to my celery you can do it however you want it's, it's all good the dish is still gonna come out nice I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt to that and give that a good mix. Okay guys, when you go to drain your veggies off, what I did was I left about an inch, an inch and a half of that broth in the bottom. Because we're going to add everything over into the red pot. And we're going to need that liquid. It has flavor in there. You don't want to get rid of all of it. So just drain most of it, but not all of it. I'm also adding about a half a teaspoon of sugar because it kind of cuts the acid in the tomatoes. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at our meat and see how it's coming. Okay, here my meat is done, so I'm adding it in. Notice guys that the veggies are not overcooked. You wanna be careful that you don't overcook your veggies. total cook time for this dish is between 5 to 10 minutes. You don't want to overcook those. Guys, this soup is packed with tons of fiber and protein.
we want to get everything in the big pot and kind of get those flavors to marry and up together so we're gonna just mix these in and remember guys basically at this point everything is done the only thing we're aiming for at this point is to get the flavors to combine. So we're just going to let this simmer for just a couple of minutes, probably about five minutes on low. So guys, we only boil these for about five minutes and we're going to simmer for about four or five minutes total time. Guys, just take a look at that pot of goodness. It's all healthy, all delicious, and full of vitamins A, C, and B. I'm just going in to kind of check for my salt. Um... And I decided I wanted a little bit more, so I added about another teaspoon of salt. You want to kind of test as you go, taste the flavors to make sure it's right. And I also added in a bit more garlic powder and a tad bit of the Italian seasoning. But you can season it to how you like. guys you can also add like pepper to this i chose not to today but you can you can add pepper to it if you want it you know a little on the spicy side um i chose not to but you can season your food up however you like your food Notice the veggies, they are not overcooked at all. They still have the beautiful color. And all I'm doing is I'm gonna add some crackers with this and I'm gonna have me a nice meal today. You guys have to, have to try this recipe. So at this point guys, we are ready. Uh, everything is well combined. Those flavors have mixed in together and we're ready to eat. A few moments later you can serve this soup with rolls or just even regular bread. I chose crackers today because that's what I had. So that's what I used. And with that being said, guys, I am out. Please take a moment to subscribe and hit like if you like.